God bless you. We're back with none other than Minister Clyde Robinson. We have been having an interesting conversation. And I tell you, it has been a blessing to me, and I pray that it has been a blessing to you. Um, we're getting ready to wrap things up. I just want to ask um, Clyde something, man. Somebody that, that, that has been listening right now, man, they love, they, they loving what they're hearing from you, man. They might want to know a little bit more about, about your future plans and the projects, the things that you got in store for your future. I, well, I've been getting more in touch with, with the youth because um, I'm, I'm the youth minister at, at Apostolic Faith and we've been growing and my, the words that I've been getting from God is loud, wow. loud, and, and, and that's basically making ourselves heard and making the gospel heard and wow. just make it loud. I mean, so many, so many things in the world is, is loud yeah. to let you know it's there. Wow. It's loud. It, it, different sounds you, you hear. You, I, if my mom calls me, I don't have to say, is this my mother? I that's know it, that's sound. it, that's it. And, and, and it's just the point of just being loud for the kingdom of God. Wow, I like that, I like that, I like that. The question, listen, the, 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 you, you just sparked the fire. Because because I believe, would you say, would you say, because of how loud the world has been, do you think that it has silenced the church? And do you think that it's now time why, that is the reason why God is giving you this, the, the loud, is because it's time for the, for the church to really speak up and speak out. Exactly, that's, that's, that's what it's about. You got, when God comes back, it's going to be loud. <laughs> it's going to be a loud trumpet. Yeah. Uh, he wants it, he wants his introduction to be heard. That's it. He's that's coming it. back and it has to be loud. That's wild. And, and like you said, the world's been drowning. It's been drowning out the church, but... One thing I realized in scripture, whenever the enemy would come for, to attack a nation, they would kill everything. Wow. From the men, women, and the children. Wow. Now, the reason they killed the children is because they didn't want an army to grow up. The sea and revenge. I like that. And, and step out that most of the time the children are going to be even stronger than the parents. Were. Wow. And Satan been attacking the youth to keep us silent because he knows that if the youth get real loud, drown out what he's doing and he has no power wow 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 wow, wow. It's, 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 it's important that we keep this, this generation loud in the right in the right perspective wow loud in the right uh, atmosphere uh, wow. uh, worshiping and showing who god is wow and showing how mighty god is wow I, I like that i like that i have to ask you this question man is that, that, that with, with the generation taking place and the thing that's taking place right now in the world that we see what do you think has to happen in order to see change in our generation? It's gonna take. This is this is this is what I always tell a person. A man that a man that stopped praying was sin. Wow. A sinner man stopped praying. A sinner. And I, and the thing is, it's not really a sin problem. It's a heart problem. Wow. People are not wow. falling in love with God. Wow. Problem is, you ever been? I've been in a relationship with a, with a female. And I really didn't love her. I really didn't like her. That's it. I just I was with her because everybody say, "Oh, y'all look, y'all look good together." Yeah. Y'all man, y'all to stay together. See, y'all y'all look nice together. People treat God like that. Wow. They come to the house of God just because they just look good. Wow. They really wow. heart really not wow. in it. The form of godliness. Exactly. So they heart really not in it. They just doing it because it looks good. It looks like nice. routine. Oh, just a, until something better comes along. Wow. But when we when we actually realize what type of God we have and how mighty he is and we fall in love with him, yeah. you don't want to hurt somebody you're in love with. Him. Wow. And so when the generation right now realize that their soul is in love with God and once they get their mind and their soul in one and realize that this is what I need, I'm in love with this, and they become in love with God and what who he is and just because he is God, things are going to begin to change. Heart is, the Bible says that the, that the mind is sick. And it says that no man knows the heart. That's it. That's it. Who, who can know it? But when, when we place our life and our heart in God, things will begin to change. Wow, that's good. That's good. That's good. Listen, somebody out there is listening right now. They want to get in contact with you. They want to. They want to. They want to talk to you some more. They want to. They, they might. They want to get you to come preach or play at the church. What are some give, give, give the people your contact information. Uh, you can you can email me at CJ and Jesus at Yahoo.com, or you can just call me on my cell phone. I'm not too big that anybody can call me at 984 Anytime. 
All right, good there, good. But, but before before we end this broadcast, I want to give him the final thought. All right, there, 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 there's something that God may have put on his heart, some nuggets, some, some valuable wisdom so he can share to you this generation, to somebody right now that's going through a situation right now, somebody that just need direction. At this time, I'm just going to allow Minister Clyde Robinson to have, the, have his chance to be able to impart some wisdom and knowledge in your life. I'm going to just give you a, a quick nugget because we've said a lot already. But the world right now is, 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 is evolved around money. Everybody chasing the dollar and stuff is not, not going well for them. But they chasing the dollar. But life will never make sense if you never make change. Wow. I'm going to say it again. Life will never make sense if you never make change. And you can put that in the money aspect. You can, you can look at it like that. But when, you're, when, you, when you make a change, things will start making sense. And that change has to go to God. And when you get that change, you got to keep the change. We have to keep the change. Wow. Wow. Man. Listen, listen. You have heard it. You have heard it from the minister. And I, I pray that it was something that was said that touched your life. And I pray that, that you will also tune with us in, tune, tune in with us because there's some more episodes to come. We're not finished. Man. That's what we're doing here at Our Push. Be encouraged and be blessed and know that we love you. It's for the kingdom.